Hello, my friends. I'm not Bob Saget, but let's call me Robert Saget. Anyways, we're here to talk about John Dalton, who was born in England as of September 6th, 1766. And he was colorblind. He will explore the pressures of gases and eventually discover his law of partial pressure. He's also the first scientist to explain the behavior of atoms in terms of measurement and weight. Uh, there's a dispute over when he died, but and, and, and there's like different ways that he could have died and when he died, and there's a lot of dispute over it, so we're not we're not going there. Uh, until maybe later in this video. Anyways, in his early life, he was a farmhand. And eventually, he became an assistant at a Quaker boarding school. Eventually, he was made principal of that school. And eventually, he re I'm using the word eventually a lot. Anyways, he realized he was too good for that school and became a math and philosophy tutor at the New College in Manchester. I kid you not, it's called New College. New College. Real creative. Anyways, it was here at New College that he learned meteorology, and specifically, what is the depth about wind velocity and barometric pressure? From this interest, Dalton eventually came up with his own law. This law would be known as his law of partial pressure, which stated that the total pressure of a mixture of gases amounted to the sum of the partial pressures that each individual gas had. Yada yada yada. Uh, so what? He found some weird law, but what does this mean? Well, I mean, it means that if the total pressure is known and the number of moles of each component of gas is known, you can calculate the pressure of each individual gas. Anyways, he also eventually did some research and discovered that atoms of different elements could be universally distinguished based on their varying atomic weights. He came up with this when he was digging up Democritus' idea of the atom of s He also uncovered that the fact that atoms are indivis indivis indivisible. indivisible. After that, he practiced modesty and refuted public recognition. And he got a statue made of him. He continued to teach at universities, and then one day, well, I mean, you know, I, we're going to talk about his death, so what? Okay, so, some theorize that he died of a stroke as of 1837, and some theorize that he died of natural causes as of July 26, 1844. Well, I have my own theory that uh, a bunch of space aliens came from Mexico, and they uh, pillaged his village, and, uh, I mean, they killed him. That's just just my theory. I'm putting it out there. I'm just putting it out there, okay? Just putting it out there. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And, uh, I mean, there's not much to talk about beyond that. So, my name is Bob, uh, Robert Segay, and I will uh, talk to you people later. Bye-bye.